Hi there! This is another short video tutorial for Kerbal Space Program. Today's topic is executing efficient orbital maneuvers, specifically transfer orbits, using something that we call the Oberth effect and how that will influence the efficiency of our maneuvers. Now for this demonstration, what I've done is created a maneuver node here which simply is using the moon's orbit as our destination location. Now, I've simply chosen this because the moon's orbit is mostly circular and it's a fairly easy target for us to demonstrate against. Now, I'm not going to execute any of the burns here. I'm just simply going to create the maneuvers and show how they change relative to what we're doing with our orbit. Now, in the case of what I've done here, this is just simply what we call a transfer orbit, where it takes us from our current orbital altitude up to a new orbital altitude. And if we were to actually rendezvous with the destination, we would have to execute a second burn when we reach that new orbital altitude. However, like I said, I'm not going to demonstrate this with actual burns. Now, if you'll notice, I've created a maneuver node over on this side of our orbit. Our current orbit is slightly eccentric, which just simply means it's not circular. It's an elliptical orbit. In this particular case, I've created it with the apoapsis at an altitude of about 267 kilometers and the periapsis is at about 132 kilometers. So the altitude relative to the surface of the planet is about at a ratio of two to one, or about double the altitude on the apoapsis side here. Now this burn, as you can see, will take us out to the moon's orbit, but it requires about 825 meters per second of delta V, which is just simply a change in velocity. This is how much we have to thrust how much we need to accelerate our spacecraft by in order to reach that target orbital altitude. Now, this is the high side of our orbit where we're moving the slowest because we're the furthest away from the planet. We want to execute this maneuver such that it's actually at the lowest side of our orbit and where we're moving the fastest. This will have the greatest impact on our trajectory for the amount of fuel that we expend. If we Look at this now, this burn of 825 meters per second would actually put us on an escape trajectory. It would take us out of the Kerbin system altogether and put us into a solar orbit, which is obviously not what we want, but this shows how just by coming around to the faster side of the orbit that we can have a greater impact from our thrust. So we can get away with significantly less thrust here to get the same effect. And this is what we refer to as the Oberth effect. It just simply states that when we're at the closest approach to the body, and therefore moving the fastest, that is where we gain the greatest effect from our burns. So having reduced the length of this burn down to reach the moon's orbit, you can see that to get the same effect, it's now down to about 727 meters per second. So that has saved us almost 95 meters per second in velocity that we would have to burn for in order to get the same effect. So there are two important points to take away from this. First is that it's the actual velocity in your orbit that matters the most. When you're moving the fastest, this is when you can have the greatest impact for the least amount of fuel on your new orbital velocity. If you're moving faster relative to a body, you will have the greatest impact. So if you are moving at a, an altitude that is actually lower at, say, the moon, but the velocity is lower because it has less gravity, you'll have less impact from this effect. You, you do it next to a large body and you're moving very quickly, you'll have an even greater impact than you would at a smaller one. Secondly, the other important note is that this is primarily useful for changes in your orbital velocity in either a prograde or a retrograde direction anything that will change the altitude of your orbit. If you are making maneuvers that require changes to the normal or radial controls, such as changing the inclination of your orbit, then that is better executed much further out where you're moving slower. So anyway, I hope this has helped you. I hope this was an enjoyable video and good tutorial to help you in the future. And thanks for watching.